Hey everyone, Cy from Black and Gold Audio here, back once again with another contact instrument made by myself. In fact, you've got two for one in this tutorial and on offer. Uh, that's right, some goodies in here today. Uh, I was recently approached by a really good friend of mine a, who's a, a singer, songwriter, great singer, um, Ella Vida. Uh, she is uh, also involved in, in the, um, the sound bath area where uh, a lot of meditation comes in with the crystal singing bowls. She has a really great set of these and approached me and said, Simon, I'd like to uh, see if I can kind of make a, a, a logic sampler instrument out of these. Would you be able to help me? So yeah, I've just jumped to the chance, I've gone, absolutely, would love to get involved in something like that. And if you're happy, I'd like to take it a bit further and make some other contact instruments out of the, uh, the recordings that we do. So this tutorial is about how we went about recording everything. And of course myself, how I've made the, uh, the Logic instrument, the Logic sampler instrument, and then the, 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 the two contact instrument instruments. I've done one called uh, Crystal uh, Singing Bowls, obviously, Crystal Bowls, and another entitled Crystal Tones. I've then, uh, you know, with the, with the Singing Bowls, I've run it through all of my um, pedals once again to get some really cool little kind of tones out of it. So without further ado, this is how I did it. Starting off with the recording here. These bowls are absolutely beautiful. Just using one condenser mic in a cardioid pickup pattern. Nice long actions. We did this on every single bowl through the scale of which they are. Obviously in this video I'm just showing you the one. They just continue to resonate for such a long time. Beautiful sounds. Yep, and then like I said, we recorded every single one through the scales. Several times. And here I'm just rendering down the room tone. We recorded some room tone as well so that we can kind of offset. And there's the files. I'm just rendering out all of these out the recordings now. So we did uh, some longs and shorts there. The shorts are, are taps on the side of the bowl with a felt uh, beater. Uh, importing into into uh, RX now both the files. I'm just going to learn the um, room tone and apply this directly to the recordings. To reduce the noise, I'm going to put this back into Logic. So saving the recordings, uh, import it back in. So now we've got new noise reduced files. You can see there's several recordings were made in the session. Do some remove silence, strip silence to chop these up now. These are just some settings I've set earlier. One second breaks. Always worth checking these though, because sometimes strip silence takes away too much. And you can see that here, I've actually pulled away too much. So, you know, there's a lot of attenuation going on there. So we need to sort that. And also, 
often the beginning of the files as you can hear here it starts a little earlier there you go let's check the shorts the taps of the felt drum the felt beater sorry yep they are longer as well so uh, a little bit of a laborious job but you know we got to go through and check every single one of these files to make sure they accurately start and finish I won't bore you with the whole process now just checking the tuning and start to name them according to the tune I've left all these files as is as well. I'm not going to retune these. Um, so they're kind of raw and in their recorded state to make a, an initial Logic X sampler out of. So here we are then. Make, I've made a, a Logic X sampler. Um, one group longs with a velocity of uh, 0 to 99. Let me zoom in. You can see those, so every single note and then pitch the highest and the lowest across the rest of the keyboard. And the shorts are from uh, 100 to 127 velocity. So obviously the harder you're hitting the keys, you're triggering the, the shorts. And yeah, the longs are the lower velocities. And as you can hear. So essentially this is what Ella wanted to do, wanted to come to the studio to, to, to do this. She wanted to take away this actual Logic sampler, she knows Logic quite well. And you can see I've looped them as well, she's got the option to, to hold down keys and keep them going, which is what she was after. But not the shorts. These are additional to the session. So they're all re-pitched to the correct keys. For those of you who know Logic Sampler, pretty easy to do underneath the editing tabs. All right, on with exporting these now, these files for uh, contact, the initial contact instrument. So everything's good to go there with the defaults, saving the uh, regions per regions by their name. This is easier for contact to create. Okay, here we are then. I've jumped ahead here. I created this contact instrument. Created the instrument and added some additional controls here my standard effects on my uh, contact devices. Short releases, long releases, reverbs, filter cutoffs. A rotator, which I absolutely love. So there's a bit more we can get out of these, these crystal bowls. Again, the velocities are exactly the same longs and shorts wise uh, yeah here's how I kind of create, create it under the script editor you can see all my scripting here written for this instrument I know where these controls go now in the uh, grand scheme of things against the artwork that I create and there's my standard effects on the inserts the inserts relate to the scripting positions and the controls, um, the parameters that are being controlled by the buttons on the front. Again, I've looped these. Every single one of these samples, the longs at least, have been looped again. Right, back in Logic, I'm now preparing for processing the files through to my uh, pedals, my external pedals. So I'm using the contact instrument and just writing some long notes going up 
all the way through the scale from F1 all the way up, I believe all the way up to, um, I put it up to, I think, C7. Uh, those notes were probably around a minute in length for every single one and a certain velocity so it's just triggering the low ones. So here we go then, through the night sky first. So I'm rooting out of my uh, Apollo X8 interface, the patch bay, straight out into my night sky. And we're just kind of playing about now with some processing, see what we can get out of this through the pedals, something a bit more special than just the bowls. I love that shimmer effect on that night sky. Great pedal. So I've just stuck logic in a loop, just playing through those individual notes at their length. It just gives me time to play. There's about an hour's worth of long notes. So this did take a while in the recording, but yeah, right now I'm just trying to get the sound I want. I probably spent an hour or so just trying to find something that worked. Over to the patch bay here, so got an idea here. I've taken out the out of the. Uh, 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 night Sky into my Julia Chorus pedal. Get some additional light chorus. With some great saturation on this as well. It's a really good pedal. Really good saturation. And then out of the Julia, I've then taken it into the Strymon timeline. And then out of that, it will be going back into the X8 and back into Logic for recording. So let's see what I can get out of the timeline. This took a lot longer, but you know, in the in the idea, uh, the idea is there. I just wanted to show you how how I go about it. I spent a lot longer trying to find the exact sound. It was close to what you're hearing right now. Skipping forward then, the whole recording process, like I said, took about an hour and a half. Here I'm now chopping these files up automatically, holding down Option in Logic with the scissors tool in a certain position will cut every single note exactly right all the way through. Very easy to do. Let's get rid of that excess at the end, I don't need that. And now I'm going to do some selection-based processing. These files need normalising. And I love this little quick workaround that you can apply to individual files. So we're going to go for the gain option in, on here and normalize. This is a great tool if you've ever used this. You can do some great effects processing as well. Uh, normalizing them all now, all the files. And I'll now start to do some note naming. Oh, 
checking the tuner. What's the tuning like? Yeah, the tuning's a little bit out on these. Let's just start to note name these and maybe come back to sort the tuning after. Actually, I think I'll sort the tuning first. And then do the additional note naming. These are not quite right. They're not pit quite pitch centered yet. So I've put flex on. Good enough for flex pitch. I've got a set in it'll instantly re pitch them. A macro setup. I'm just going through and re pitching them all to correct pitch. Much better, there we go. Brilliant, let's get all these renamed again then. Uh, this took me a while, but I'm going to quickly zoom ahead. So note naming is really important. Makes it a lot easier to make the final contact instrument. I'm going to export these now. Same as region name and custom. Render them to the folder as pedal recordings. Out we go. Then we're going to get them into contact for the final build. So a new instance instrument in contact. Then we're going to map these. There's all the files, individual ones exported. If you drag down in contact, you can see that the keys will map to individuals instead of several keys at a time. And then we need to do some batch processing on these. So auto map setup. So we're going to make the setting as uh, A1, where it says over here on the right hand side, we're going to make that the um, low key. And apply that. And again, make high key. And apply that. Because of the settings, uh, the notes are named, they're, they're doing it via note naming. Sometimes it doesn't always work though, so we have to go back in and do some pitch um, centering which I always do just to be sure you can see there it is move key root keys to center so we're going to do that as a definite shore up for these files we go ready to go uh, I've already had the added the effects into the instruments my standard ones as per the other instrument. Uh, I'm going to change the attack times a little bit and the release initials, but these can be done on the front of the interface. Here's the scripting for the device. All written out in a text document. I'm going to add this in into the script editor now. I've already made the artwork for this, so it should locate all the artwork and let's put all the buttons in, in the correct positions. And I can already see the artwork is in the tiny little square underneath the spanner at the top of the instrument. Let's have a look. There you go. Perfect. I think it's time to do some testing.
such a beautiful drone pad sound. I've really enjoyed making this. Also, like with a little bit of reverb. Bit of saturation. Chorus is rather lovely. big amount on this you could go crazy with this if you wanted to and a classic rotator sounds awesome course you can filter between the low pass and the high pass you can notch filter as well and to of course change the attacks and the releases So that's it guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this look at how I created both the crystal singing bowls, contact instrument and the crystal tones instrument. Please feel free to use them in any way you see fit. Great to hear what you would do with them. Uh, I, I often get examples come back to me. It's really lovely to hear uh, what you guys do with the instruments uh, in compositions. Uh, and feel free to add some great comments down below. I always like reading the comments as well. It's lovely feedback. Of course, if you're really into this content, feel free to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for future uh, content that I do here on this channel. It be, would be really appreciated. Ella's details are down the bottom. All right, I've put uh, in the in the links down below in the description. I've put further uh, details. You can go see what she does. Uh, yeah, she does some wonderful stuff. Check out the sound baths as well. All down there in the description. As always, thanks for watching the channel. Thanks for watching the video. Stay safe. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.